he's the consummate professional, man. Uh, you know, that next man up mentality, we needed him in a big way tonight. Played probably the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, in the amount of minutes that he played. Um, and he's just, he's a great kid and he works his butt off and so happy for him that he, he signed that contract. And um, he's showing that he obviously belongs out there and, and we're all happy for him and had a heck of a night um, and really happy for him. When you're missing as many players as you are, it probably isn't going to be uh, one of those games where everything feels like it's clicking. Yet the Thunder made seven different runs in the second half where they cut the lead to five or less. And each time you guys were able to keep them from taking the lead and you ultimately get the win. What was the key to the resiliency considering especially how many guys you were missing? Um, just not quitting. Um, you know, they, they made their runs, but, you know, we punched back. And... Um, you know, that hasn't happened every game this year. Um, but tonight, you know, we didn't let the run affect us. We came back and countered and, you know, credit to us. Um, we didn't fold and credit the coach for uh, calling great stuff and um, for us being connected defensively. When you're missing so many bigs, did you sense there was maybe a little bit more pressure on Malcolm, on Karras, on yourself to perform and carry maybe a little bit more of the weight? And do you feel like you guys were successful in doing that tonight? Yeah, I mean, there's always pressure when you have the amount of guys that are out that we did tonight. But, you know, we don't look at it that way. Um, it's an opportunity for other players to step up and make names for themselves. And and they certainly did that tonight, you know, with Keelan Martin and Ed's been playing great all year. Aaron's been playing great and, and O'Shea and, and down the line. And, you know, we got out and played fast and, and got the ball out, you know, even when they made it and, and did what we did best and played in transition. The schedule this year is so condensed and you're about to have your last two day stretch without games of the entire season and then a couple games this weekend against teams that are a bit further down in the Eastern Conference standings. You sense this is an opportunity um, to a get a little bit of rest and then b try to make up some ground in the standings. Yeah, I mean, but you know, we, we, we do need to take care of our bodies. It's it's a growing season fitting the amount of games we have in the shortened period of time. Um, but that's part of the job. We got to take care of our bodies. We got to go in and watch film and see what we can do better. And um, we have to take make every game, you know, um, we can't take anyone lightly. And um, it's very important the rest of these games on the stretch, we come in and execute and we're locked in.